Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial of uh, capture rigging using scripting. Uh, I have provided some scripts as well as a character for you guys to work. You, you can find it in description. Right now, I'll drag this character into my Maya. It's the same old character which uh, I created using some inspiration from different movies. So right now I got this character, okay, and if I press 6, that's fine, and if you study, if you check your display layout, it's clearly that I gave you a skeleton preference to work it out, and also not for binding, and for binding layer and lights layer, so I'll turn off the lights layer, if you select right click on the binding layer, right click, select objects, you can select objects, which I need it to be skinned a little bit and the other thing are the hat and the eyes and all this stuff that's fine now let's get back to the skeleton so right now there are a couple of scripts provided for you guys it's in finger control joint control and rig control you can drag your scripts in your script editor and then open your scripts here and then with the middle select the whole script with the middle mouse button drag and jump in your shell if you don't know how to do it you need to revisit the basics tutorial and the other other tutorials which i clearly explained how to work it out so right now here i got my three scripts one script is joint orta orientation script the second one is the rig tool and then finally the finger controller so right now if you check on here if you can select this one show polygons turn off <coughs> i think I'll, I'll start from scratch rather than so i'll turn off using joints if you check on joints reset i used at the early stages i just click on orient join to the world i don't care whichever axis it is up and the next thing is the start bone and the long bone i'll try to maintain the same value so i'll change it to two and two that's fine now i'll start from the root so this is the root I don't know if you can see this is a root I will click it's fine the previous joints it's just for reference okay I click here click here if I turn off the mesh and also this joint you can see you should get something like this right now this is your spine root joint spine spine one spine two or the chest or the cage this is you can call it as cage end or something else and this is the neck joint and this is the head joint and if you want to move it you can just move it because we are going to freeze it later words now once this is done I'll come here I'll create one joint for the jaw from here to this end so it will be jaw start and end the next one is for the eye so I'll create eye controller here and then for the eyes okay if I come if I open this if I show this uh, not to bind layer I can clearly see it now select this joint which goes exactly the center of the eyeball so it, you can see it fits the eyeball now I'll come to the front view I'll select this joint come to the front view and move it and place it exactly the center right now here I'll just hold D to open the script if 
you have followed my facial rig tutorials this rig you can continue with once you complete this one you can take back to the facial rig and complete the facial rig that is the main reason behind we are adding the eye joints so once it is done now i'll come back here to the side view i'll create joints for the hips knee ankle foot and toe once it is done i'll come back to the front view you can check it out it's trimmed it's not in the right axis so i'll just move it here and rotate it so right now i'm using object axis so how to get the object axis you can double click on rotation tool and change the axis orientation or you can just select the object hold ctrl shift right click and then you can switch between object and world axis now once it is done we are not going to do anything right now and <coughs> the other thing is the just one second this is the skeleton which i'll be using so i'll just select it no, i remove from selected because i'm a bit lazy <laughs> okay this is the clavicle left clavicle shoulder wrist sorry elbow and the wrist and if you check it out here i got a palm joint and the four fingers and then the thumb so and you can also see a lot of things right here the script a lot of rotation and all the stuff you need to rename these joints what i will do is just i'll pause it for a few seconds and then get back to you uh, so welcome back <laughs> i just pause it because i don't want to get you as bored so if you check here i named it as character root and this one is a spine spine one spine two spine three and it goes on i call it as neck joint and this one i call it cage end and this is spine three and this is left eye control joint and left eye joint jaw clavicle and all this stuff you can still find this information with the reference joint but once it is done now we'll work on one more joint which is called sway joint to create a sway joint i'll create one joint exactly the center of the hip area like this somewhere here okay now once it is done i'll select this joint and parent it back to the root so this is a root joint and whereas this one is a sway joint so i can call it as c underscore sway joint okay here the only condition or else only requirement for my scripts to work is see that i got left shoulder joint and here hip joint if you want something now once this is done we'll use our first script if you go to the tools the script which i provided which is called joint orientation click on this script now select your root i'll freeze transformation so that it will clean up all the rotations okay once it is done click on show access <coughs> sorry excuse me right now we have when we created the joints it's based on world orientation so first thing you need to do is that you can choose anything between z up or z down or y up or y down so i'll prefer x not i prefer x should be always pointing towards the child on one side and the next thing is uh, my main primary axis which i want to rotate is z because where the character bends forward and all the stuff i want it to be in z axis so what i'll do i'll select this one and z up now if you check it out here x is pointing towards the child and z is my primary axis okay can you see that's fine now if you check it out here everything should be properly aligned okay now x is pointing here 
Now the next thing is that <coughs> I want I want this axis of the sway joint also pointing towards the root. This is my root right now. It's not pointing towards the root. It's a, a subtle change need to be done. If you rotate it like this, you can see X is pointing it. And if you freeze it, it's done. Okay. So what I did was I just rotated that one joint and close the transformation. So that's fine. So now it's fine. Now I'll come back here. Freeze the transformations because we have rotated the hip joint. Now show the axis. So right now, once again, X is there. So I'll just click on the root, the hip joint, Z up. <coughs> Now when I rotate, it's rotating. But right now, what rather than going for Z up, because if you check it out here, this is the axis which I want to rotate, and it's in minus value. I prefer the main axis which is rotating to be in positive. I prefer. It's up to you. So select the root. I'll change it to Z down. That's the only thing you can do. It's fine. Now here, it's fine. So let's take, if you come back here, the Z are not properly aligned to the ground plane, that bit of angle. If you want to do it, you can just select the joint. You can add some value here. Let's say you should rotate in X value. So I can do it in X, like two degrees and then rotate it. Okay. Or what you could do is that you can just select the joint rotate it so that it's free it's properly aligned to the ground plane and then freeze the transformations done but i don't think you need just leave it okay but i'm saying that if you want it you can do it so i'll just leave it to the default angle axis let it be okay that's fine now come back here the transformations show axis so you should get this axis right now here my primary axis is Z here I want to rotate Z here this should be in different axis so if I change it to Z down or Z up can you see I'm rotating in Y axis here Y axis that's fine but my when it comes to the fingers rotating in different axis this is Z this is Y so everything is messy here can you see this is showing Y axis this is showing Z axis Z axis so what I'll do I'll just rather going for Z up I'll go for Y up once you go for Y up now this is Z this is Z Z so it's nearly done but still there's some problem with you need to ad readjust the joints but once it is done so this is fine, Z axis, Z, but if you want here it's Y, it's Y, but whereas the joints, everything is Z. Now what I lose, if I'm happy, that's fine. You need to align based on the mesh, so I'll just go for polygon. So here I'll just turn a little bit, freeze it. Now if you check this, you need to select the base joint of the fingers you should not select <coughs> the remaining joints because your jo your finger it will rotate like this or like this but you will not see your joints the in between joints between the fingers will rotate only in one axis okay that's why i want to maintain it in z axis so what i'll do is i'll select this joint rotate it properly freeze it now it's fine, so you can see everything is that here. I'm align, trying to align it, freeze it. Now select this one, can you see? Freeze it. Check with the mesh, check with the mesh. Let's take if I press mm, here and then go to shading. Uh, X-ray joints, you can see the right hand is fine. This one, I'll rotate it. 
So you need to turn on x-ray joints, you can say it here. So right now this is fine, so face transformations, face transformations, so everything is fine. Here, let's check, I'll rotate a little bit down so that the finger goes inside, so face transformations. So everything is fine. Here, this is the axis. Let's take, I want to rotate a little bit in x-axis, so I'll just change, add some two degrees. Rotate it and add this one. This is fine. The problem is with this axis, it's totally in a weird angle. We know that x should point towards the fingers. So x is here. So I need to rotate in which axis. So if I select it, you know it's in z axis. So I'll change it to z. See, I'm rotating. You can add a little bit more value as well. See, look at this. But I always go for a small value and rotate it and then I should rotate in the X axis so that Y will point out. So I'll just change it to 5 degrees. Now this one. This should go like this. It's fine. Now I should rotate in Z. Okay. Change a little bit subtle value. That's fine. That is fine. That's fine. Okay. Oh, that's we need to still notice in x-axis because y should go up so i'll just change the value to 45 degrees because everything is fine properly aligned but except that's fine so i'll just add this one okay so done so you're properly oriented now height axis height and height so you're done with this joint orientation you can close your script now select the hip joint and the sway joint and parent it clavicle should go to the cage because we no but no character can bend like this it will bend with this thing or the neck okay next thing select the jaw and the head joint parent it this one, you know, if you have worked in the facial rig, you know it should be go, it should go to the head joint. Now next, select your clavicle joint, left clavicle, go to skeleton, mirror. It should be YZ. Don't change the behavior. Leave it to behavior on the left and R. Apply. Apply. And we need, we need to do for the eye also. Done. So your skeleton is ready. I'm not going to show you how to paint weight and all stuff. That it's the time consuming. You know how you you guys know how to work it out. But still, if you got any problems, just mail it to me. I'll get back to you. So hope you oriented properly with the script. If you got any problems, mail me. In the next lesson, I will show you how to work with the secondary scripts so that you can control the whole rig oh sorry before that i'll just select the root joint and then right click on this binding layer select the object root joint skin bind so you should see it something like this okay if there is any problem you can always paint weights go through the process Spend some time, clean up your mesh. If you got any doubts, mail me. And then I'll see you in the next lesson where we'll complete the full rig. See you guys. Bye.